Welcome to part two of my Sub D crossover SUV in Gravity Sketch. As you can see, I've built this basic structure of a body side, and now I'm going to start to merge those different bodies together and to start to create the surface transitions. So using the merge tool, I've clicked on each of the body color elements so that they're now a single merged body. So now if I select it, it's one object, one single object. So now the objective is to start to define the transitions between the fenders and the body side and maintain the intent of the, of the design. So the first thing to do is to start to work each of those sections so that there's a very clear pathway to how they connect together. So I can simply weld the points together, but in certain cases, I may want to run the topology a bit differently. So, so you'll see, for example, here on the rear fender, where the body side meets the rear fender, I'm gonna to start to weld those points together. You can see they just weld right together. I'm adding additional points in order to align the geometry of the different sections. So now you can see very clearly where the rear fender meets the body side. So now I'm going to go into collapse polygon mode. And I'm just trying to work my, my polygons so that I get as many four-sided shapes as possible using the edge cut tool. You can see where I've added some additional geometry in order to get those, those sections to be four-sided. I may still use some three-sided or five-sided shapes to manage certain transitions, but generally you want to stay four-sided. So now I'm in smooth view and you can see generally the design intent is there. It's very, very sort of soft. Now I'm adding some additional edges around the wheel flats to give them some definition. So those wheel flats are a very, very important part of this design. But you can see the transitions between the body side and the fenders are, is still quite, it, it's quite soft and, and not quite defined yet, but the basic structure is there. So now I'm just adding additional edge loops. Because the base structure is there, I can just add additional edge loops to start to give it that definition. So for example, this shoulder line, you know, giving it more um, a sharper edge, where the rear fender meets the body side, giving that a sharper edge. And then managing the transition in this front fender, that's going to be probably the most difficult part of the design. I'm adding additional edge loops to, to start to give more definition to the front wheel flat and the rear wheel flat. Just making sure my, my front center line is welded together. You can see now that the body side is really starting to take on the design intent, that surface structure. I'm just bringing all of the center line vertices together. Just adding additional edge loops wherever I feel like I need additional surface definition. So the body side is really starting to take on a nice, a nice dynamic quality, a nice surface structure. Now back here, I have a little bit of an extra crease running through the rear fender, which I'm finding to be a bit, a bit too tight. So I'm gonna to have to do some work to manage this transition where, where the, body's, uh, the body side shoulder line tapers out in the rear fender.
That's starting to look a little bit better. Using the Chrome HDR, I'm able to, to really understand the surface reflectivity and to really manage those surface highlights. So now I'm looking at it in a gradient HDR, which takes away the reflectivity, but it gives me a really nice warm and cool read. And I can really start to see and understand the surface. So here, here I've got a gradient with a black horizon, a blue sky, and a, and a light ground tone. And, and I also have the zebra stripes. So I can really start to understand the surface in various, various ways. So I've done some, some work on these control points to really start to refine and edit those, those uh, body surfaces.